Now, I'd like to start from scratch on that question because what I think is <clears throat> that, see, all the time there are all these billions of, of uh, reactions going on in the body where chemicals are breaking up and joining together and their enzyme reactions and everything is under control in the body. And that every once in a while a mistake is made when a chemical breaks apart, one chemical may take an electron from another one and not replace it quite right, and then that's a radical. Well, ordinarily when you're well, the small amount of radicals that are formed are handled by the free radical scavenger system, donating an electron to neutralize that free radical. But when you get sick, then there's gross damage, gross mistakes, huge amounts of these radicals that become free radicals that are formed and your own free radical scavenging system can't take care of that, you see. And so that's where the massive doses of ascorbate come in. But then you see, what happens is when the little amounts of ascorbate that the normal person has in their body tries to neutralize the free radicals. Remember I'm saying that as ascorbate neutralizes free radicals, the free radicals to neutralize the ascorbate, then the ascorbate is destroyed and the person gets an acute induced scurvy in the tissue involved in the disease. Maybe not all over the body, but in the tissue involved in the disease. At which point the white cells shut down. See, the white cells need a little bit of vitamin C to fight. And so you get this sort of acute induced scurvy, like in the throat when you've got a cold, or in the liver when you've got hepatitis. And so the white cells just shut down. Now the only thing that saves us is the secondary system of antibodies. And antibodies are turned on by free radicals, see. So that otherwise we would die of a cold, you see. But after a week to 10 days, the antibodies finally build up and, and knock off the, the, uh, the cold virus. But see, so that's why there's that delay. You either, if you get well right away, it's either previous antibodies or the white cells knocking it off. But then you go into that period where it lingers until the antibodies build up again. Now during that period of extended period, if you take massive enough of the ascorbate to drive the ascorbate back into the nose and throat, then you may get lucky and the white cells may come out fighting mad and get rid of the cold once it's established. See one of the ideas years ago was that if you took vitamin C early enough that uh, it would work, but if once the disease really got going it wouldn't work. Well the reason for that was that they didn't use high enough doses. You see, so if, if a disease is already going to take that on, you've got to use absolutely unthinkable massive doses as far as the orthodox mind is concerned, you see. Then it neutralizes those.